Welcome to Stockcast. We like it, the Man United direction where we have learnt or where we all watched in dismay, not in disbelief, but Liverpool 4, Manchester United 0. And our, after playing two games with Liverpool, nine goals conceded, no goals scored. Joining me today is Vimal, representing the UK. Vimal, welcome to the show, mate. Howdy. We were supposed to have a Liverpool fan join us today, but unfortunately he was unable to make it. But uh, we'll probably, be sure speedy recovery. Probably celebrating, celebrating and, yeah. and hungover. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, Vimal, you were, you've watched the game. Man United yeah. considered four goals. First half, 2 0 down. they down yeah. after four minutes. And uh, they say the rest is history, mate. Yeah. But um, what, how bad are United, mate? It was bad. I mean, we all expected us to lose, but not by this margin and so badly again. You know, we already got humiliated 5 0, and then, you know, all these days were numbered. But it feels like we're still functioning the same way. And we still, we still have no fight. You know, it's like going to a boxing match with your hands tied or blindfolded. Yeah. I mean, these boys, I, I don't know what they're doing at the club anymore. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a laughing stock. And all, all the interviews, all, all the people on the sidelines, Thiago, that Shimikas, Salah in his post interview, they're all laughing. They just couldn't yeah. stop laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Even you know, the crowd, you, you pan around the camera, the cameras around the crowd, they're all yeah. laughing. Yeah. What have we because become? they've, over the years, seen United as this great rivalry. And they're thinking like, these guys, how the hell were these guys great back in the day? Because these guys are rubbish. I mean, people say this is one of the worst United teams of all time. Do you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, we've been on this slippery slope for, for a number of years now. And it's like, it's, you know, normally when we get to the stage of getting thrashed like this, we, we're usually, you know, had enough of the manager and we think, okay, it's the manager's fault. But this guy's just come in and... He, no him, bounce, nothing. No bounce. And it's like no manager can get these boys to play like a proper team, to play for the badge, to play for the club, to play for pride. Uh, the way they just stood off and let Liverpool have the ball, it's... Um, it's, it's don't forgive it's us. It's travesty. It's travesty. I mean, I, I listened to a bit of Roy Keane. He said, "Yeah, this is not the United he played for. That these guys, no. there was no, there was no nothing. They offered no character. literally nothing. Yeah, now, he's ashamed that. But and he he pulled he, he pulled out Maguire. He pulled out Aaron mm. Wan-Bissaka. He, he he did pull out names that listen, they're not good. They're just not good enough to play for the club. As in, yeah. not good enough. Which is the truth." But the British media sometimes protects people like Maguire, Shaw and Rashford. You know, they yeah. don't call them out, but it keeps them calling out Pogba and the rest. And uh, Did you get to listen to Radnick's post-match? I, I, I listened to a bit of it. I mean, I was really listening to what Gary Neville and Roy Keane were saying after the match uh, when they were sitting down with Carragher and Sunas. And I thought that was a really fascinating discussion. Um, you know, Gary Neville, obviously... He's still quite emotional and passionate about um, how the team performed. And he really is pinning this on the Glazers again. Because it's it's accumulation of poor performances, bad decisions. The Glazers are taking money out of the club when there's not much money left. You know, we've gone through COVID of two years. He said the, the, the bank balance is extremely low and they're still taking out 25 million a year. You know, this is how the, they're running their business. And he's yeah. basically saying they're, they're not fit to run this business anymore. Well, but that doesn't stop them from the footballers playing football on the No, field. no. And that's exactly what Carragher replied with. Because fair enough, you know, the Glazers are doing what they're mm, doing. Mm, mm. But the players on the, play, on the pitch are I representing the club exactly. at the football level. And they should be working on it. And he said the club is broken from top to bottom. Mm. From top to bottom is broken. And I completely agree with him. It is broken. It is broken. So let's go for the first goal. Mm. We've all started with Liverpool in their own half of the field. Yeah. United, I don't know, the high pressing, I don't know what they were doing. From what Rackling was saying, considering Godalli was not part of the game plan at all, you could see he was so embarrassed, so humiliated. Yeah. And he, one thing with him, he says it as is, he, does, he doesn't shoot he does. the goal at Oli. 
Yeah, Ollie is just a wuss. Ragnik says it as it is, and he tell he's basically says they're not good enough. He said uh, they're not. They're had not that six just, years behind you know, Liverpool. Six years. Yeah, That's I deep. would agree. You know, he, he's he, he's even mentioned in one of his interviews that Liverpool and City are are run like a club of that size should be run, making the right decisions, getting the right tra targets in. You know, building the club in a certain way to 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 challenge on this basis. And where are we? We're like, you know, Watford level. So you you saw the yeah. first goal. First goal. So 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 there is a, a three line defence, three centre backs. Those three centre backs should be together in a in a straight line. Okay, yes, maybe they're not very good at catching off people in the offside trap, but they should be together. That's how defence works. They should be as a unit. So. Phil Jones at central, uh, Lindelof on the right, and Maguire forward in midfield. He then sees uh, Mane pick up the ball, and he hesitates. He he kind of takes a step forward, and then he stops. He, he's, he's, he's completely non-committal. He either goes to Mane and roughs him up a little bit, puts pressure on him, and does not allow him to turn. What he does, he takes a step forward, and then he, he backs off. He allows Mane to have all the space and time in the world, Turn around, pick out the pass. Maguire is completely out of the equation. That right hand, right side is then overloaded with two players. Um, and who was there at the time? Was it Delo? Delo. Delo trying to basically pick out the two players, but he, you know because of Maguire's inadequacies, he's allowed that side to be exposed. And he pulled the ball across uh, for Diaz. <clears throat> yeah, so quick. Diaz scored. Quick. Sale just accelerated, got to that ball, whipped in a lovely cross. And on the other side, where Diaz was, Lindelof was the closest player to him. Yes. He just let him go. He let him go. Diaz took a step ahead, pang, straight into the goal. The two centre backs caused this, these errors. Could, these two Diaz, could the girl have done anything different at that point for the first goal? Well. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends how close it was to to him. I don't know if he was able to get a foot out or something like that, maybe come off his line a little bit more. But there's two centre-backs there as well, Phil Jones and Lindelof. And Lindelof yes. was the one closest to Diaz. He yes. should be stopping him. He should be getting in his way. Why are they just letting these boys have the ball? And I said to you last game, uh, last pod, that these two centre-backs are a real problem for this club. I would sack them both. And we've seen it now. Four minutes. We're supposed to have um, some, you know, uh, cheering for Ronaldo at seven minutes, but it was completely overshadowed by this goal. These boys. Yes. The second goal. Sane yeah. gets the ball, yeah. chips it over to an on running. They won Mane. the second goal really. Money chips it yeah. for Salah. By the time yeah. the low knows what's going on, Salah's already clean through. Yeah, yeah. More of the same. I mean, they just, they just, uh, they just chop through our defence, eh? Like we're not even there. And look at the, how many players were around those two players. It, it was just like a little ping, wasn't it? Ping yeah. to to yeah. Salah and bang, goal. I mean, it's just they make us look like idiots, honestly. They make 100%. the players look like idiots. Then the yeah. third. So that first half, United going two 0 down. Come yeah. back out, change formation. Liverpool kind of um, got a bit lost in the first ten minutes. Yeah. And started to figure out United. Hmm. Then the, the third United goal did not offer it. it. Salah, Salah said, oh, United make it easy for us at the back in the middle. They said they just give us the ball. He said they give us the ball and make it easy for us. And he was laughing and chuckling while he was saying that. Would you, do you see what I mean? See what I mean? This, this is where United are. A joke. Yeah. Then the, la the, third, the third one, Whereby the ball's cut in and Mane hits it first time. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, look how many players were in the box at the time. Yeah. There were, I think there must have been seven or eight players. Yeah. At least six people in that box with Mane and no one's on him. Not a single player is on Mane to, to intercept the pass. They might as well just all be playing with blindfolds on. Yeah. Because that's how it looks. The fourth goal, McGraw mm -hmm. makes a 40 yard pass to Hannibal. Yeah, and it was a stupid pass as it is was. I mean, oh, poor poor Hannibal, 
that poor Hannibal, you know, I, I love seeing, I was always calling for Hannibal to come on, you know, for, for a number of games. They're bringing on he's a an exciting there. player. Yeah. And, and Han uh, Maguire can't even do a simple chip over a player to Hannibal's feet. He does it wide. And if you pass a ball to a player, you know, let's say three, four meters away from him, he has to go and collect that ball, but he's also being pressured by the player behind him. Yes. And that's exactly what happened. What happened? You, you're allowing players to give pressure to your teammates by doing stupid passes like that. And Maguire does them all the time. And poor Hannibal, he got, you know, that muscled by the, by the player. He tried to win it back. Another, I think Delo was there, tried to win it back, or was it Basaka? And, it and Basaka. Um, I think it was Jota, isn't it? Jota got out of that little Pocket. area. Really crossed it ball. in another goal i mean it's it's maguire i think was involved or at uh, fault or partly to blame for i think three of the goals is that right three of them uh, uh, yeah mm. so, you, so you ask yourself why is this always penny plate and where was i hearing an interview he says oh, oh I, I, I must be good i must be yeah. good the previous managers have always play oh, me I think yeah. that's a fucking insult, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like he's trying to paint um, a good picture of himself to the English media, saying, oh, I must be a good player. You know, I get played every game. I also play for England, and England loved me. But the fact is, is that he's being played because he costs so much money, and he needs to be played to bring the debt service ratio down. That's fucked up, man. Look, I, I said, I think... In his contract, it stipulates if he's not injured or suspended, he must be played. I think, yeah. that, I think because there's no other way. You yeah. can't be that off form and still be picked every week. Yeah, I, I think I think it might be a, a generic um, stipulation as well, where Edward Woodward, who set up the financing for the club, the leverage buyout, basically said that we will um, have X, you know, hundreds of millions in assets. And as long as we play those assets, you know, on, on the in the first 11, that will be used to, to bring down the debt payments. And I think that's how he's written it in to try and reduce our debt payments that, you know, our hundreds of millions of pounds of assets should be played. And as long as they're played, it will, it will reduce our payments. So Ed Woodward basically has set us up um, to fail. Because when you buy a bad asset, you have to play him whatever, whatever. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, when you yeah. saw four 0 down, open, they didn't really want to keep going forward for goal. They just want to keep the ball at that point. Were you yeah. expecting a fifth? Yeah, I was expecting a fifth. I was thinking, you know, is this going to be a repeat of um, Oli's tenure? And it was looking that way. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we actually tried harder in the first game as opposed to this one. This this team looked like they didn't know what to do. Actually, no, they did not. So people could say, "Oh, uh, United were uh, short of there's no McTominay, there's no Fred, there's no Ronaldo." That's not an mm. excuse, mate. Mm -hmm. Not an excuse. Not an excuse. No. I was no. in a chat. And some idiot, I had to tell him off like, oh, oh, other people lose, people lose family members, they still play. I thought, how insensitive can you get? This ain't mm. a miscarriage. This is a child that was already born, already in the world, and he died. Yeah. So, you know, I just shut him down quick. I ain't got time. Like, listen, you need, you've never been a parent, so shut the F up. He, mm. he he doesn't have to play football. Sports is sports is sports. There's more to life than football. He doesn't need to play. He doesn't. He doesn't. And you know, if you lose your child like that, I I, I know that. And having the very is, next day, come on. Yeah. No, you can't. You've just had a death in the family. It's, it's you know. Stupid. I I I know that with twins that there is always a risk that one of the twins is a little bit weaker. Mm. And sometimes they don't always survive. And, you know, luckily they have still have a surviving daughter. But just um, losing uh, children like that, it's, it's mm. even if it's prenatal, even if it's still in the womb, 
It's still it's devastating. It is devastating. Yeah. Right? And there's no reason he should have played. And even if he had played, he would have been extremely frustrated because he would never have got the ball. Yep. Oh. Because the midfield absolutely shy. Completely. What did you think of Bruno? Bruno, Bruno's been, he's derailed and he's just getting worse and worse and worse. You know, he's, this team is dragging him down. This team is underperforming and he's underperforming. It's, they're all, they're all suffering. Um, he's, he's become a victim of this shambolic ensemble of players. Pogba left injured after, a lot of people say, yeah. why didn't he play for his injury? What happened to him? He just, he was off in the a muscle few calf, calf, muscle strain. Hey. There's also there's all, there was a something went out on Twitter last night that he signed a four year deal with PSG. I have not heard that one. I I saw it. it was transfer news, extra or something like that. Um, said that basically he's he's done a provisional agreement with TS, PSG for four years, as he's leaving for free. Well, he's going back to France. Going back to France. Yeah. There, there'll be, there, his agent is a real scumbag anyway, but I don't know if I can say that, but he, he but the agent has been, a, Your agent has been quiet for a while now, if you notice. No, but he's always working away in the background, mate. That that agent makes Viola. money when Pogba is moved around. And yes. no doubt he's going to be speaking to clubs and so look, Pogba's available. Do you want him? Take yep. him. I'll bring him to you. Apparently. And there's going to be... I, he's going to get a massive payout. I don't know where it's going to come from, from, from the player or something. I don't know. Oh, 100%. I was reading Messi wants to leave PSG. Really? He... Bro, you only just joined him. Why does he want to leave already? Wow. He probably wants to go back to Barca. But he's he's too old, I think. I think, you know, because he's not looked after himself like Ronaldo has, I think he's, his playing days are going to be over soon. And I Could think maybe, down. maybe he'll go to Boca Juniors or, you know, yeah. the Argentinians go. But can he keep up with because oh, that's fast? They're, no. they're, they're crazy out there. Yeah. I, he doesn't need to play football anymore. He, he'll do it just because he enjoys football. I mean, that's the right. guy's so mega rich. He doesn't is need there, it anymore. Is there any United player who stood out for you in this game? Anyone? Anything? Give me something. For Hannibal Medjury. Yeah, he was the only one. When he came on, he, man, he was like. He was alive. He was alive wire. He was going for tackles. He was, you know, he he was going for some good tackles, trying to win the ball. And he was getting harassed by Liverpool. They didn't like mm. it. Mm -mm. And I and this is one thing I noticed as well, that Liverpool almost made our team submissive. Did you see that? Did you notice that Jordan Henderson, how he was harassing some of the players? He was, you know, if if like Bruno kicked him or something like that. And, Jordan was giving him mouth. The other players were giving him mouth. Yeah. If, if there was a Hannibal Medjury, he did a bad tackle of Mane, they all started bullying him. Yeah. It's like our team was submissive. Yeah, like I said, they just laid down and got spanked. 5 nil yeah. first game, 4 nil second game. Can't yeah. even score one against Liverpool. Mate, mm. I don't remember a United side get manhandled like this over two games in a season against Liverpool. Never seen it. I, I I know there are, but I can't remember it. This one just yeah. lay down, take your spanking like a big boy and keep moving. Yeah, just lie down. We're going to beat you into submission. That's right. And they did it with the first goal, four minutes. Four Wait, minutes. This, there's more to come. And at that point, you can't be that players exactly are like trembling. Yeah. How, how Do you remember the first leg? How quickly did we concede? I don't know. Was it as quick as this? Ten minutes. 10 minutes. Yes. So we capitulated even faster this time. Yeah, what about Liverpool cousin? Did he text you through the game? Um, I did get... Uh, yeah, my nephew did call okay. me last night. Yes. And he'll be watching the show later on because be, he'll, he's asked for for it. So, well done, Sohan. Your team did well. So, as much as we... <laughs> as much as we don't like Liverpool, <laughs> has it got to the point now respect is now due? Yeah, I mean, respect. They're a good team. They play well. I just, I don't, I don't like all the laughing and stuff like that because it just makes it's kind of humiliating. Um, you're a good team. Okay, we got schooled. We got thrashed. We couldn't even get near your goal. Accept that. But the laughing, I think that's that's taunting too much. I don't think it's necessary. You, you, we're, did you we're, see Kenny Douglas in the crowd? 
he was laughing as well. And, and they, they did a shot from Ferguson to yeah. Kenny Deglish. Yeah. Ferguson looked like he was going to, you know, get a machine gun and bloody shoot everyone. I know. Man. Kenny Deglish is just having a laugh and, you know, enjoying it. It's two sides of a coin. It's, uh, it was, it it was, was painful. Yeah. It was painful. I mean, Ferguson looked angry. He looked like yeah. an angry old man. They showed what it. That? His face at 3 0. Oh, he must be thinking, what a bunch of tosses you guys are. They're just yeah. weak. Yeah. Just weak. And, it, and, it, and there were a number of shots to Ragnick speaking to Chris Arnus. So Ragnick was there, Arnus was there. Mm. And then uh, Fletcher was on the other side. And there was just a lot of conversation going on between Arnus and, and Ragnick. Ragnick was fuming. Mm. It's fuming. I, I would love to be an uh, eye on the wall and uh, you know, listen to what they're saying. Right. But Ragnick was absolutely fuming. Adam, welcome to the show, mate. Hi, boys. How are you? Not too bad. Yourself? Good, good. Just got back from the daughter's training. Right. How is she? She good? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yeah, they had a win on the weekend. So, uh, at least someone's weekend. winning. Liverpool <laughs> 4, Manchester United 0. Another spanking at Anfield. Adam, yep. United considered goal in four minutes. Yeah, look, um, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good start to the game, that's for sure. Um, you know, there's been a lot of criticism for Maguire coming out of the line and everything like that, but you've got to go a bit further up the pitch where Alanga, you know, actually sent the play, sent Arnold the right way, but he got himself in a bit of an awkward position and, um, you know, Arnold um, kept running and Alanga didn't run with him. So, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't a good situation. And Maguire came out of the line and um, basically three, I think it was a 3v2 or something mm -hmm. like that. And, and uh, yeah, the rest is history, mate. And, um, yeah. He has was there. I think, I, think every, I think everyone went into the game expecting Liverpool to give us a touch-up. So, uh, I think I read... I think I read the, read um, today in the last ten games we've played Liverpool. The it's been twenty four to two in um, in goal difference. So that's the last ten times we've played them. So yeah, look, it, it was a frustrating game to watch. That's for sure because it, that was it was a heartless effort. Um, you know, there's no characters, and I've spoken about this before. And yeah, you know, Man Manchester United is all about building heroes and. You know, and and you even have your villains, and you know, and there's certainly no heroes in this side. That's for sure. That young young lads can follow, and um, you know, say they want to look up to, and that's the most upsetting part about it. You know, sometimes games against Liverpool are the games where players can, you know, step up and play for the badge, and you know, we just don't have those types of players. So we are yeah. building something, though. We're building a bunch of losers. That's what we're building. Hundred percent. We've mate. already built that. So we've definitely built that already. You know, still Hannibal, building it took, them. It took, it's going to it destroy Hannibal, that. Hannibal, Hannibal, Hannibal the cannibal. On. <laughs> it, yeah, it took Hannibal to come on and chop a couple of players. And, um, you know, then Bruno decided to have a go and he looked fucking stupid at doing it. So, you know. The, in, why the why the hell is Bruno on. giving away a yellow card when there's four minutes left in the game? I mean, that was a silly it's thing to do. Stupid. What is the yeah. point? Adam, so, yeah, it was, yes. Yeah, when you saw that pass from Maguire to Hannibal, 40-yard pass, that oh, cost. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous pass. You know, I've, I actually um, went back and, and watched the game again this afternoon. So, um, just to get my head around the goals and stuff like that. And it's an absolute ridiculous pass. Absolutely stupid. Like, we've spoken about his body position and everything like that before. and. He was that square onto the ball, like, and he even had a little bit of room in front of him to take the space, but you know he decides to switch it out to Hannibal, and Hannibal was under the, that, and that's what. That's it was what, a bad uh, pass. Sorry. It was a very bad pass. He had to try no, to it's, adjust. It's, we call it in rugby league. In rugby league out here, we call it a hospital pass. You know where you know the players receiving the ball or receiving the pass and. You know, there's a player straight on him, ready to tackle him and ready to pull him under the pump. You know, so it's, it's just no consider, it's no foresight from any player in United's jersey. Everything's just off the cuff. There's, there's just nothing. It's just so amateurish. It's, it's ridiculous. 
absolutely so poor. And it's just, you know, they showed a little bit of ticket two minutes after half time, but then they turned back into school. Well, school kids don't even act the way they did. They copped the goal and, you know, they put their head back in the sand. You know, it's, it's, it's absolutely pathetic. You know, I don't know if you touched on, you know, Liverpool clapping Ronaldo and stuff like that and yeah. Anfield and that. You know, it's absolutely brilliant to see that. And I was, I was impressed. I was, and my respect for the scouts went up a bit. I was impressed. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, I was, I was actually a little bit disappointed today with the Liverpool, my mates and Liverpool fans. And, and it probably made, made it worse because they didn't put shit on me or send me any memes or anything like that, you know? Uh, they said we're not even... Expecting... A lot of United fans, sorry, a lot of United fans, a lot of Liverpool fans are saying, you know what, it's not even worth bantering you guys. You're not even worth and bantering. That, that's it. And that's the thing. It's not even worth bantering United anymore, you know? It's, it's that sad a state. <laughs> you know, it's not even fun. So... Yeah, look, I'd like to try and find some positives out of the game, but please do. We're the, only positives, the only positive you've got is is Liverpool. Like far out, mate. They just the but actually, I want to look at Ralph Rangnick's tactics for a little bit mm -hmm. in that game, mm. and um, I didn't understand us pressing them. It should have been like a night out in Europe where we sat back, let them come onto us, and and um, you know, let them try and make the mistake. And, you know, I, I don't, didn't understand play. I don't think we were pressing, but we, we were creating 1v1 opportunities, opportunities for Liverpool. So, you know, like Rashford will go in on a tackle on someone instead of it being two or three or, you know, it was just that they love that. You, Sulla was even speaking about it in his press conference how it made it easy for us when it was all 1v1. What an absolute you know? insult. Yeah. That's rubbing you know, in, mate. So it's just bullshit. And like, Delo switching off you know, for the second goal. The second goal. Just, oh, I, I, I mate, think that was the, the, so the, bad. Wrong side the, of the player. Yeah, wrong side of the player. Off. Mane does that delicate chip. The minute... But the, it was so the, preventable. They, if, if our backs stay compact, Yes. It doesn't happen. Yes. It doesn't happen. Or Lindelof gets to the ball first. First. It doesn't happen. You know, it's... Look, the commentators out here in Australia, they are the English commentators. And far out, man. They, they make it 10 times worse the way they commentate the game. You know, if, if a United player or Bruno tried to do that or something like that, they just wouldn't get a rap. But because it's <laughs> Liverpool, and it's an ex-Liverpool comment uh, player as well, it's just, it just drives you nuts even more. So what, what kind of stuff are they saying, the, the ex-Liverpool commentator? Oh, it's like, oh, that's one of the best best um, setups I've ever seen. And da, da, da. Yeah, yeah and they said like, that second goal no was. Matter, yeah, no matter, how, no matter how good, they can do a pass, a 10-metre 10, 10 pass. So it's just constant part. praise, constant yeah. praise. Constant oh, constant praise, man. Mate. It's just ridiculous. And it's so it's and you know what? It's not even just Liverpool versus Manchester United. It could be Manchester United versus Leeds or Manchester United. It doesn't matter who United play. You know, they're constant constantly barrage barrage and friggin' United. So it just or praising the other team. Yeah, just praising the other team. So, it's very biased biased reporting then, isn't it? Yeah. Biased um, commentary. Adam, when you saw that lineup. You saw Phil Jones. You saw Rashford starting. Was there any moment you thought, you know what? You probably this team will give Liverpool a hard run. Did you come across? Did that thought come across? Ah, never, man. Never. I didn't think United would. Nah, even in my tipping comp, I backed Liverpool to win two, three. I think it was two nil or three nil. I thought, two, was, I, thought okay, I thought two nil. So many injuries. So we got so many injuries. Not that that would have made a difference. But just touching on Phil Jones, the poor bloke was thrown under the bus, man. Like, 100%, mate. I know we have, we've got players out. I still don't even know why Tellers didn't play. What, what, I think what, he's what, picked up an injury, hasn't he? I think so, mate. What, from last week's game or at training or? Yeah, that's why he was substituted, I think. I don't know. What, we ran it. And don't then, even you, know then you got Wambasaka playing on the oh, God, right hand side. Well, on the left hand side. And Delo on the right, and then it got swapped around. And 
mate, it was just a mess from top to bottom. It's just like, I, I was shocked when I saw, because Wambasaka started the game on the left, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. What was that all about? Like, Maybe to counter the pace we, of Salah. Than that yeah, Salah. We, we've had two right backs playing in the full backs position. We had no natural left back. And so I think they were trying to wing it between those two as to who could manage that left hand side. Delow, Delow was obviously uh, outschooled by um, by Salah with that second goal, and they'd probably decided, look, let's put uh, Wembasaka on there and get him to man mark Salah. That seemed Wemba to be the thinking is behind terrible, it. Wembasaka, so he he was he was making tackles, which is what we initially bought him for, but in possession he just kept giving the ball away. 100%. A simple pass His to first him. Touch. Touch is horrendous, man. But the, the, he, he was he was that touch, second touch has to be a tackle. Uh, he was trying uh, to do one touch passing, um, <laughs> like Liverpool do so naturally. And the one touch pass yeah. was a pass straight, straight back to, to Liverpool. Liverpool. Straight, yeah, to Liverpool. Yeah. straight to Liverpool. I'm thinking like and you see, the funny thing what I realized is Liverpool, when they lose possession, they hurry to get the ball back. Yeah, but the, but the, when they when they defend, they defend in, in two in packs. They defend yeah. in packs, and and you know, like it's it's like that drill <clears throat> where where everyone's in a circle, and you got two players in the middle, and you're trying to win the ball, mm. right? right? And you might have three in there, or or in the middle, or you know, it's a piggy in the middle situation. Right. When when it's one v one and they're passing, they can't get the ball. But as soon as you have a pack mentality, you win the ball every time. You target a player, you win the ball. And you're not targeting the player 1v1, you're targeting the player 2v1 or 3v1. True. And that's what Liverpool do. But that, that's, what the, that. that's what the other teams are doing as well. They're gag and press. And that's this right. is what the gag yeah. and press is about. That you yeah. don't let the opposition have the ball. No. Nope. Barcelona do it. City Even do Ajax. it. Liverpool do it. Ajax do it. They don't want you to have the ball. And that's, that's the remit that they were all being given. And they follow it to a T. I was saying throughout the game that you know Klopp could just sit down and go and have a tea break. He's got this team so well drilled with gag oh, yeah. and press and the style of play, he can just literally have a seat and chill, chill out. Yeah. This team functions so well. Um, they don't and, need and, and us, we are supposed to be implementing a gag and press style with Ten Hag. It's going to be that style. These guys don't know how to, to even win a ball back. They no. just literally, Lingard and Rashford were just letting the defenders have the ball and standing off two, three meters. Why are they not even putting any pressure? Onto but that's any because, player. like Bruno, he's so ill-disciplined. Yes, he's, he's so ill-disciplined. He's like, he's like a dog on a, a dog off a leash. He's just today. You had to be compact, and we were so far from being compact. Yeah, just too wide. It was just, it was. I, I think I put it in our messages. We're like witches hats to Liverpool today, and that's what we were. We were witches hats, and you know, witches it, hats, this, witches hats. What's witches hats? You know, like the plastic cones that they use at right. trainings? Right. Training cones. Oh, training yeah, cones. Yeah, training cones. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, that's what we were. It was yeah, just, true, just training they, cones. They logged in. Yeah. They logged Static. in and they, yeah, they, you know, and Maguire, the dumb shit, goes and puts himself under pressure again before the game saying, um, I wouldn't be playing every game for me. Could you imagine in the that, starting 11, Adam? Like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Absolute who, muckle, of, who authorized that? <laughs> like, His PR boys, isn't it? The, the, the guy's boys. an absolute clown. He he just dead set. He, he just puts yeah. that much pressure on himself. And he says, crazy. Look, a previous manager always picked me. I'm thinking, we know he was a clown too. <laughs> Mate, you have a look at... The, Tiago in that midfield. Oh, yeah. Fuck we yeah, we talk about De Bruyne, uh, yeah, and people were talking about Bruno being the same and the same better than De Bruyne. Uh, and there you got Tiago on the field with Bruno. You sprained the ball. Mate, so much leisure. Jesus, no, mate, it's just phenomenal. That guy between. No him, rush. Like, I had a, I had a bit of an uh, a bit of a not an argument, a bit of a discussion with one of our fellow members today, and George mm -hmm. and. Mm. A top guy. He's really. I'd love to get him on this pod one day. You know, okay. he knows his stuff. But we're talking about um, Henderson, mm. and you know, and I was, I was back in Henderson. I was just saying how good a six he is and everything like that. Mm. And, mm. You know, 
He really is. He plays the basic six, six position. He directs his players around the field. Whenever he needs Tiago to get involved, he's involved. You know, and, you know, whenever he needs to be strong in a tackle or whenever he needs to slow the play down, he does. It's just... Mate, everyone's given to you. I, I thought Henderson was great today. You know, for, oh, for and the... and did you see how much um, hassle uh, Henderson gave when our, whenever our players tackled their players badly? He was, oh, yeah. he was on you like a yeah. little hound dog. He was. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess I was saying to Tim earlier before you joined that they almost played our team into submission. Mm. We looked yeah. like a submissive oh, team. Did you see? Did you see the part where Henderson was? Um, Henderson came up and spoke to the referee and um, and then Gumby Maguire decides to try and say something at the same time. It was just it was it's just schoolboy shit, man. It's, stupid, it's like man. he's when he's captain, he has to try and prove that he's a, a captain. point, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and it's just it's so amateurish, it's ridiculous, it is. man. It really is. I saw the first thing every time I close my eyes, I see the first goal. I see Mane with the ball. He's back to United. He's, he's, he's facing his own side. Maguire takes one step and stops. Mane now has enough time to now pass the ball to the right. Ball's whipped in. Diaz is there to tap in. Even the commentator said Maguire should be closing Mane down, not giving Mane that much choices to turn around. Go for him. But as we all know, it takes too long, like a, a Titanic, to turn to even figure what to do next. It's all over. You know, they were like, in there like a flash, four minutes. We're talking about like also about their, their Liverpool's midfield, you know, and um, oh. you know, look, who was their starting midfield? You had Henderson, um, Thiago, Fabinho, Thiago, and Fabinho. Yeah, like Keita and Ke is it Keita? Keita. Keita like, joined later come, on. He joined later. joined later on, like. The midfield's insane. And and Jota as well joined in later on. Jota, By the way, Jota, the, the first the first later, three yeah. yeah, the 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 first set of goals, the front three were all goal scorers and assisters. Yeah. So it was like a perfect trio. They all assisted, they all scored. Well, that's good. Here, here to, on that right, the first goal there, like you've got you've got to sit back and admire just how good that goal was. Like beautiful. They, they, Oh man, it was just beautiful. It was on the right which, hand side. It just came. Which goal are you talking about? The second the one? First, the first one. First one. The first one was good. I thought the second one was excellent. The way they just yeah. ping, ping, just pinged it. Oh over the yeah. Fence. Everyone yeah. was just did like like Sabutio players that was was standing there. If you if you have a look at that one where Delo got caught, he was on the correct side of yes. Salah in the first place. He was on the correct side, and then Salah just dropped out a little bit. Yeah. Dropped out that touch, and then it made. Um, Delo switch off for a second, and then as soon as they played the ball into um, oh, what's his name? Ooh. He played the pass, Diaz. Diaz. No, it wasn't Diaz that played the pass, it was oh, Diaz played the pass in, did he? You're no, talking about the first goal or second, Mane. Second, Mane, when they played the ball into Mane, then he just yeah. made the move, yeah, yeah. Delo as soon as Mane got the second. ball, he was already moving. Yeah, you know they still didn't Delo... figure out because Maguire was Delo... in between Mane and Salah, so people were saying he didn't even attempt to try and jump nah. because it was. That, a chip I'm not over. even blaming Maguire for that. I'm blaming Delo because he wasn't compact. He wasn't compact. He was too wide. When, when you're that, when you're receiving the ball in that six position, uh, in that ten position, he's got to be compact, and he was way too wide. The the thing is, and Adam. That's what I mean, the, space. The, the thing is, Adam. Right, there are individual errors all over the pitch, from think. front to back. Yeah, I agree. So totally, it's yeah. it's the it's up to the coaches to point this out with the players and work with them. But you can see, as a as a whole, the team is dysfunctional. We can blame Bruno. We can blame Delo. We can blame Maguire as much as we want. But these individual coaching errors, they need to be um, eradicated. ruled out, eradicated yeah, from really. the from throughout the season. And they're not. Too many. They're not being eradicated. So what the hell's going on with this club? Adam. Or coaching. What, what's going uh, on? Yeah, I don't know what's happening at training, but you know that that kind of stuff happens when Luke Shaw's in in that position. Um, there's, I don't know whether it comes down to a communication problem or, or I just don't look. Our midfield's been getting run over all year. Yes. And um, well, it got and worse it, today. 
that, but it got worse. Like without McTominay and Fred, you know, it was it was just a schoolboy. The the other thing as well, Ragnick said um, post match was that he said our natural born will, ball winners were not available, and he was talking about McFred basically, because those mm. two, although they they do a lot of howlers, they go and attack, they press and they tackle and they win the ball back, and he yeah. called them our natural ball winners. This midfield that we had yesterday, they are not ball winners. The opposite. So yeah, McFred have actually. You know their stock has increased throughout the so season, they played, even though they, they played last game against Liverpool, didn't they? Yes, uh, they did. They did. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, do you, down. from from what you remember from the first game and this one, do you, which one do you think was worse? Oh, this one was by far worse. This is worse. See, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. This, this one was by far worse. There was yeah. no energy. Look, I think actually the five 0 they actually tried a little bit. They tried. This one, yeah. They didn't try. They didn't. They just let down. Got to walk off. For Pogba, I actually spoke about this, uh, whether this team has got the heart to play for the badge. And Pogba walked, I don't give a shit how injured he is. You don't walk off in the 10th minute, man, do you? Is it so what? Because I, I missed that bit. Did he just like signal there's something wrong with his calf? He, he, and then he, say, he, look, he could take not me chase. Off. He couldn't run, so he just pulled up. So to a point. He asked to be taken off. He put his hand up or something. And, I missed look, that bit. If that was the case, seriously, if that was the case, because I've heard McTominay wanted to play today, and he's put his hand up to play a half a game. He's put his hand up. Yeah. I I, I think I think Ragnick is being strategic about this because he knows this Liverpool game is a loss. Oh, yeah. And I and the reason he bent Sancho and McTominay is because he wants them to be available at the weekend. He thinks yeah, we have a better Arsenal. chance of winning our Arsenal. remaining fixtures as opposed to winning against Liverpool. Liverpool was definitely a loss. We all knew it was a loss. Yeah. But it what was I was expecting, much. what I was expecting is to show a little bit of fight. This is these are our rivals. Make it easy. This is there Hard are there play. are players in this squad that have played against Liverpool and they know how much it means for this club. And I'm expecting a little bit of fight. And and we were more submissive this time than the first. Than the first time. And that's what was the disappointing part for me. It's not Mag naivety. Maguire it's said no fight. Oh, Liverpool are chasing quadruple. That should not be any reason why we we have to be we have to show how uh so what he was basically saying was even though they're chasing the quadruple, it doesn't matter. We know as professionals, we know what we need to do. We know how we could uh, play to stop that. They don't need to be chasing trophies. We still have to be professional. And look at what Who this said guy this? did. Maguire. Who said this? Maguire. Thinking, are you well? what he says. I really hope uh, Ten Hag just sells him, you know. He's and damaging first of all, I to, to club, strip him. He's damaging. I mean, when it comes to worst captains, he I, thought, I thought Ashley gone. I thought Ashley Young and Valencia were bad enough. This guy takes the cake. I mean, Absolutely. Valencia. Valencia can't speak any English, so <laughs> as a captain, it's kind of difficult, isn't it? But <laughs> Ashley Young, I liked Ashley Young. I always yeah, liked him fight. as a player. At least you, you, you could yeah. see the passion. This I one, always liked Ashley Young. Yeah. This one has a mistake in him every game. There's a mistake waiting. He's a walking mistake. I mean, it's you know you've got to look at his history. You know, every team he's been at, they've always done worse. They've always million, done underperformed. Million. God. Yeah. Whichever idiot sanctioned this deal, and he they, should says, be, they should also be sacked with him. He said the other man, the previous manager, always selected me. Justifying his selection. Could you imagine that? Who does that? Maguire. You know, he's, he's, he's a victim of his own bullshit. Yes, he is. Um, and, the, and the media bullshit. You know, the fact that he doesn't know that he needs to be played to bring down the debt, debt payments. Um... And he thinks he's being played because he thinks he's a good player. Exactly. There's a, a, an ele element of delusion there. Uh, the, the, mate, if this guy can't lead a team of a one-way road, one-way road, it yeah. obviously tells you this guy has, is, is, this guy is not a leader. He's clueless. You saw Ronaldo in the tunnel, you know, you know talking yeah. to everyone. And getting, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was Maguire? Out in the front no looking at the stars. You know, you know, this, if we can't sell Maguire or if we're going to make massive, you know, 50, 60 million pound loss on him, there has to be somewhere else in the team he can play. 
could he be trained as a CDM? Because oh. he loves going out into midfield anyway. Oh, Actually, to be honest, he'd be crap there because he doesn't yeah. even tackle. He can't tackle. And when he does tackle, it's over the top. Or he's just not a good footballer. That's where it is. He's not a good maybe, footballer. Maybe he's, you could turn him His level is Everton level. That's his level. Well, he Everton. could become a kit man. You know, he's going to retire soon, isn't it? We need someone to handle the boots. With, with, all, with all his money, he's that selfish bastard. He ain't return anywhere. He said he's going to justify the reason why I'm still the captain, the reason why I'm the player. I'm good at what I do. Mate. You go against <sighs> bullshit. Just hearing that interview just makes your blood boil, doesn't it? It just shows you a guy who's got no shame. That's what it is. Yeah. It just shows a guy who's got no shame and who, who's not in reality. Uh, this guy disappeared because we're going to shut soon. Yeah, I probably lost his connection. I, I do pray that Ten Hag um, strips him number cha- one. Strips him, yeah. And buys, I know that he is targeting a centre back. I hope he does buy one. And I hope, and I, you know, Ten Hag's style is to play a back three. So I'm hoping Varane, you know, can have some recovery time during the summer. That'd be good. Play him as a central centre back. Um, maybe we buy another one and play him alongside, and maybe perhaps Lindelof or whoever else is left and Maguire then becomes a fringe player um, or exactly. we try and structure like a deal at the moment. yeah and, yeah but the, we we paid a lot less money for Baye I don't know how much we paid from about 20, 20, 20, 20 something 20 something yeah 30. so 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 that that isn't such a big big uh, investment with Maguire I think we should just cut our losses and sell him to the championship la, la um Last I checked, Bayou was not injured. I don't know why he's yeah. not playing. I really don't get it. I, I would have preferred a back three of Bayou, uh Jones and Lindelof, to be honest. The amount of mistakes that Maguire keeps making. And he's not learning from his mistake. No. You can only learn from a mistake if you know how to. But I don't think he knows how to. So he can't change yeah. it. It's like, ten, it's like saying, um, you tell a kid, oh, you've been warned so many times, don't do this. But well, the kid doesn't know how not, not to do it. So he keeps doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's where Maguire is. He doesn't know what to do. He's getting worse every game. Oh, yeah, we won. We, 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 we beat Norrie free too. But look at where he, what he, his contribution to that game was. All there, was the a song, there was a song written in the 60s, um, written by Sonny Curtis called A Fool Never Learns. That should be Maguire's song. No, don't look. But he still gets picked. Still gets selected. <laughs> yeah. He still, get, he still says uh, he's he, he's the main man. Yeah. Oh, an absolute twat. I mean, he was... They destroyed him on social media. And having to go and do that interview before the game, I'm thinking, who authorizes this nonsense? Yeah. If it was Pogba who did that interview, oh, all, all, hell, all hell will be broken loose. All hell will be let loose of Pogba going to do an interview. And such an important game. And this guy see, does the, it. I see, I, I, I've got a feeling that it's definitely this PR team that have instructed him to do that. Or that. they are trying to increase his stock at the club for a potential move. But if you're going to give out an interview like that, you've got to perform to a certain standard, I, which backs up you, what you, you say in your interview. You've, you've, nailed it. you've nailed it. You have to perform. But he, just like I just said, I don't think he knows how to. No. If you can't even make a, a simple pass, yeah. What kind of football are you? But it just shows Ole rated this guy so highly. What does that yeah. tell you about Ole? I, I think Ole's hands are tied, really. He's just a puppet manager. And I think Ragnick is almost also another puppet manager. From, from what you're hearing Gary, Gary Neville say, is that these managers don't actually have any real control in the club they've got no control and say over the transfers they've got no control and say over the salaries and have they've that. got no control and say of whose plays so the the board and the powers that be are controlling this club far too much uh whereas should be the managers making that call this club should be yeah, built yeah. around a manager yes. the other thing as well gary neville said yesterday which is a really fascinating point was that players are given this piano introduction and they are brought into the club as these mega superstars and they're given more status than the manager itself oh and yeah pogba's brought in you know there's a lot of fanfare about pogba yeah you know we want to sell it's, it's about selling shirts yes 100%. but they're given more status than the manager 
the, the football club, the main guy, the main man that the fan should be about is the manager. It's not how club was. City. It's a, uh, City uh, is uh, all about Pep. Pep. Those, those stars that come in, they are never elevated above Pep. You make a very valid point, mate. Klopp as well. Look at all of these people that he brings in, all these players that he brings in. None of them are elevated to above what Klopp is. Klopp is the man. When you say Liverpool, you say Klopp. When you say City, you say Pep. When you say Man United, you say Ronaldo, Bruno, Rashford. Klopper, Rashford. You never say the manager's name. Sad, these be, these players have, have higher status than the manager and that's where all we're also going wrong. Um, Before we go, I yeah. was gonna say, from that United team, what are you giving this? What are you giving the team performance on a scale of one to ten? Uh, it's it's um, team performance. It's a zero. Zero out mm. of uh, ten. Okay. Yeah, there's there was only there would only be something that brings it up to one, and that was the introduction of Hannibal Medjby, who I've been calling for for some weeks. Yeah, and I'm I'm hoping that this guy. And Doracho and Ghana and these other boys, I hope they make it into Ten Hag's team, first eleven. Yeah. These boys will give us something to 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 watch and to feel proud about. Well, so another defeat to Liverpool, our first as rivals. We're not even rivals anymore because we're not in the same category. No. They've moved on. They, they've moved Luke. on that, that. We're not even... Because that's, you, you can see the cheekiness from yeah. uh, Salah and Thiago and Van Dijk. Yeah, they're on the verge of winning the quadruple. Mm. Is it achievable? It is achievable. I don't think they'll uh, do it. it, it I well, still think I mean, City win the league. I, I still think City win the league. The, the thing is, right, like you said earlier, right, uh, Liverpool have got the easier route now to the Champions League final. They play Villarreal. Villarreal. Whereas on the, other, on the other side, it's City and Real Madrid. Madrid. So we don't know who's going to actually make it to that final, but it looks like Liverpool have booked their space. So that's another potential Champions League win. Which they are then. now top of the the Premier League at the moment, and they are. Is it one point yeah. clear? They're, but one City point have clear. a game in hand. Yeah, they have a game in so hand. All, they so have. All City, they're, all... They're, they've won the Carabao Cup. They're in the FA Cup yeah. final. Yeah, and FA Cup Chelsea. final against Chelsea. Chelsea again. We should be again. Should be the repeat of the Carabao, which ended on penalties. I think yeah. Chelsea be out for blood this time. I hope Chelsea get the act together this time. Yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. the last hope for a trophy. That's true, yeah. For two shell, that's the only you can get. Um, but so it it looks like at least two or three trophies. I don't know, maybe two trophies for Liverpool. But yeah, they are still fighting on all four counts. All four. The thing is, with all, all they now have to do is just go and finish out their next. Is it six games they've got left? They say eleven games to glory. Eleven, including no, no, FA no. Cup Premier League wise, Premier League wise, oh, six games to go, mate. We're six. in thirty-two now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so the last six games, they have to just, they haven't got a particularly tough run, to be honest. They're all mid-table teams. They need to just go out and do their job. And they'll and go Liverpool and win know how six. to handle low blocks. Yes, they do. They like because us. they just we're, carve we're you open. They carve yeah. you open. See the way they carved us open. Like a Christmas turkey. So easy. Yes. That's yeah. what I said. We were not even... It, it, the Liverpool players didn't even see United as... Oh. Opposition. Opposition. Not even opposition. Oh, this, it's this like might literally be a team. Playing we might drop points. Team. This might be a team we're going to drop points in the in, in nah. the, the fight for the. They're just like, this team can't do shit. Yeah. Even if we play this game for another two hours, you're not going to score another goal. So yeah, let's just um try and get as much goal. Let's try and improve our goal defense to the best. I think they even took the leg off the pedal, the foot off the pedal. Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking that because I'm even even Klopp looked underwhelmed, like. You know when you when you get a when you get a lead in a tough game, you're going to be mm. psyched up, psyched up. He looks kind of kind of underwhelmed. Like this team is not in opposition really at all. You know, you know, Klopp is normally fired up. He was not he fired up to, at all. He didn't need to be. He was just in first gear, just chilling. Yeah. Um, and so you never I, gave I, me the grade. Felt, you go, you get a zero, right? Zero, yeah. But zero. it was like Liverpool playing the C team. A C team, you know, not a B team, not a reserve team, but the next one down. That's how bad they were. That's how bad they are. Well, Vimo, it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure on a night Likewise. that the uh, United fans have to ask themselves, how shit are we? Because we really mm -hmm. are shit. 
it's yeah. got it what it is. Liverpool mm-hmm. and us were not in the same league at all and have not been in a while. But it's when the, you know when they say it, it, the, the the fans come home to roost. Mm-hmm. We have seen it right here in front of us. Nine goals against Liverpool, not one response in two games against. Not Liverpool, one five, goal. Not one. Yes, not a single goal. Not a single. And goal. you know, we 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 were saying in the last pod, look, if we had put up the fight and we lose, at least it's something. We, there was no fight. There was no there was no shot on goal. I think for 60, 70 minutes or something like that. Mm. <laughs> he no, managed to no, no. a bit late. Yeah, we're about to run out. Yeah. Now, hello? Emad, have the clocks E-Med. changed in Australia? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're one hour late. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And we, we were just about to say goodbye and good night. Can't even see you, man. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm driving, that's why. Right. Ah, okay. Right. So, Emad, quickly, uh, it, was, it's not, it wasn't a surprise. It wasn't a surprise of the, the defeat. It was the manner of the defeat. That's where we're at. Um, we saw, we saw the lineup. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear us? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Well. Uh, so, Vimo, how mm. do you feel? I was. I was. Um... I was just expecting some fight yesterday, you know, to show something. To I know that Ten Hag would have been watching this game. Hundred percent. No I would, way he I wouldn't. Would, be. I would hope that the players would have seen this almost as an audition to say, "Look, we want to play for this club," but I didn't see any of it. Rashford, Maguire, Wamba Saka, Delo. I mean, we were, even Lindelof was horrible. It was horrendous. Yeah. Yeah, and we know that some of those players can play well. We've seen Delo play well. We've seen we've seen Bruno play well. We've seen wow. we've seen Elanga play was. well. We've seen they you know, couldn't get the ball. Lingard. They couldn't get the yeah. ball. But it's just like the whole team didn't know what to do. And That's Ten Hag must be thinking, what the hell am I you know, what job am I taking on now? It says it's not too late. Poch, it's all uh, yours. Well, yeah, but it's it's a poison chalice type of role, right? But you know, I'm I'm sure that they they know that if they can turn this team around, it'll put them on the map as one of the elite managers now. Yeah, because we've yeah. got all the elite managers here, effectively, or well, we've got two of the, two three of the best in the world, and so for the new manager to come into Man United, he turns his team around, he starts winning stuff or getting to the top, fighting for the title, then he becomes an elite. That's right. So there on, is a lot of stake. On that positive note, mm. on that positive note, it's been an absolute pleasure. We'll see you on the next one. See uh, you on the next one. It, it, there, there's not, it, there's not, it's, not, it's not even a sue or a boo. It's just like, what the fuck? Right. It's like a boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. There, there is a way though. Honestly, there is a way. New manager come in, Chop half the squad off, get rid of them, bring a mm. new squad in. Right. I think I think someone can save this club. All right. I like the yeah. optimism, but uh, yeah. this is where we are. I'll see you Boom. in the next one. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. All right, bro. <laughs> Take care. Take care. All right. Bye. See ya.